Welcome back to the tutorial and in this lecture we'll be discussing some special characters that we can use in our strings to have the desired output that we want. So for example, you're going to notice something here. If I type in echo and I say, you know, here is my uh, new tab, right? Notice how these two are highlighted in yellow the slash and the end, the slash and the T. And notice what happens when we try to print them here. So let's try this out. Let's compile this. All right. And then let's run this. And look what it prints. We want it to print this one. We want it to print slash new slash tab, right? But it's not because when you append a backslash to a certain character, it escapes that character and base what's after the backslash, it can be either a new line, so this is how you make a new line, or it could be a tab character, so this is a new tab. So when you do slash T, you're basically entering, it's like pressing tab on your keyboard. When you do slash N, it's basically like pressing the enter key on your keyboard, etc., etc. And that's why you see here is my, and then slash N comes in, prints the next character, then goes back to slash T, which happens in here, and prints the next uh, two characters, and that's how it works. Now let's say we actually wanted to include these two strings in the final string itself. Well, we can do that by escaping the escape character itself. So we can do double slash like this, and we can do double slash on the tab, and then when we print this out, look what happens. And as you can see, it will actually include it this time because we told Nim that, hey, we actually want to include these two in the final string. We don't want a new line and we don't want a tab in here. We just want you to print these as the way we want it. OK, so this is another way to treat special characters. You can escape escape characters themselves. You can escape certain letters, etc., etc. You can even escape uh, um, double quotations themselves. So you can do something like, you know, slash slash double quotation and this will be included in the final string as well so if i compile this i run it and it will boom here is my between two quotes my slash new slash tab okay so that's it for escape characters i hope you found this tutorial helpful and uh, i'll see you next lecture peace